lang haplosin yung talo, no? Mm-hmm. You gotta load it up and he's right. Basang-basa ng depensa yung palo na kainglet kasi bago dumating sa likod, malambot na. I mean, mabagal na yung dating ng bola. See, another missed reception and they have no that's choice. that's exactly what Coach yes. Roger was saying that Ateneo has to move on. They have no choice if it, they have a missed reception. Because clearly they want to go to Brenton Hall, yes. like Coach Roger said. And for those of you who are wondering, we will have uh, Doc Ian Laurel give us a technical explanation of what it means to kilamos the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's a street lingo for uh, just tapping the ball over. <laughs> kilamos na. Hilihilabos yung ball. Kasi kung talagang papaluin mo, paligo ang tawag kayo. <laughs> Talagang ganun, sasaburin po talaga ng maigil. Look at this replay. Again, Maizo. A no-brainer where uh, the Makulangan would have to set the ball. Maizo, Maizo, almost 100% right now. Three-man block is good for USD. A joust there won by Ateneo. But USD getting a chance to set up, and that is good. Maizo going deep. Or was it Ortiz? That was Ortiz right there changing it up to si Di Makulangan. Rhea Di Makulangan, only a second-year setter for UST. She's been getting a lot of playing time ever since her teammate, the, um, Denise, Stan. Denise Stan, has been sidelined due to an injury. Oh, oh nice and nice and nice nice nice. <laughs> Carrera smartly brings it to the back. Yeah. by her boss, she was expecting them to thunder the ball in, and USC knows that there are many other ways to score. 16-8, the count now, bigger lead for USC. Eight points that Ateneo needs to catch up on. We'll be back. It's now 16-8 here, this first set between the Ateneo de Manila Lady Eagles and the uh, USD Tigers is a lead being enjoyed by the girls in yellow. Last time out, the USD um, Tigresses took the game in three sets, but okay. look at this. Ateneo is a... Sabi sa'yo, yung kanila ng ano, blue bubble in the cheering squad. However, present. They know how much this uh, game means to their uh, campaign for this season. And if you ask any athlete, they will tell you that it really helps to know that oh, yeah, your definitely. school is behind you. Definitely. That escapes uh, Gabriel de Libero, Ateneo de Manila. That's right, Gab. One of the more senior players right here. Forgetting that she has to guard that uh, end zone. For staying too long in the middle. Running hit, nabantaya ng UST. Acevedo's heading up Kain Red, and that one looked good, and it is good. Great play coming from Kain Red. Finally, she gets one attack point. And these points are just are hard to come by now for Ateneo. They need to score fast, and uh, that's one way. Wow, Service aces are welcome at this time. Great one from that was tough to do because it landed right at zone two, which is the hardest spot to hit when you're serving from the other corner. Nice play, although somebody was at the net. Okay. I was going to say that Tima Kulangan had to make do with that, uh, make do with that reception. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Natawagan. And this is what Ateneo needs to do, actually, is make a quick... Nice oh, Pepito. great break for Ateneo because UST called for a positional error. Aha. Uh-huh. Just as uh, Ferrer was getting ready to serve our second umpire or referee. That's a point, right? That's yeah. a point. That's an automatic point for Ateneo. Nice coverage by Ferrer. Acevedo will set up Hall. She's blocked. That's her hand on the ball. It's going to be a free one for USD. They set up. Look at my job. Oh, good change oh, back yeah. to uh, yeah. go. Mm-hmm. Cool dust, too. Back set. Acevedo going up. Great. Uh, that is a great choice for Ferrer because Definitely. USD was not ready for Acevedo. Definitely. 
Acevedo, a good option for that back. Let's see single block coverage for Acevedo. Found the hole in the defense. But what a serve from What Ferrer. a jump serve. What a nice job there by... Oh! Nice <laughs> conversion there. That all emanated from Corrado, the, or rather uh, Del Rosario. Which one is out there? It's Del Rosario. Del Rosario. They have two no, liberos. Eh? That's right. But Del Rosario, that was an excellent reception on that jump serve. Look at Maizo just yeah, drilled that one home. <laughs> Hitting it, hitting it in the middle, and uh, the blockers of Ateneo have to jump higher if they want to reach up to that uh, to those hits from Maizo. Oh, he just bumps that one over. Oh, the block! No, that's for a hit. That's right. That will hit the tape of the net. And, uh, again, still Ateneo just four points down. And Ateneo has managed. Play yes. catch up here. That's right. They had an eight point deficit and Correct. it's now down to four. Gretchen Moore, first year star player of Ateneo, there with a nice serve. Maiso just sends it over. Ferrer backs it. Nice. Beto once again, this time dug by Caballero, and that's his overset. And Ateneo knew it. Bohe Tambola. Three ball. Let's see if they. Oh! oh. <laughs> There's so many ways to score, like we were saying. Ball on the first hit. One of the few times that a backliner scores on a play. <laughs> I don't know which stat would that go to, oh but uh, a point's a point. Why not? <laughs> nice dig there by Ravasho. And look at that as Aveda slows it up, finds the hole in the middle of USD Sport. And look at this. They're only two points behind. USC, let's listen to Coach Shaq to see how he'll be adjusting. Kailangan pa yung 25. Bakit nag-relax na kayo? Rhea, ano na? Ha? Remisive muna tayo. Ana, pag Ay. hindi ka nag-block at umatras ka, masisira yung defense pattern. So dapat, pag hindi ka nag-block, tutulog ka sa defense. Ha? Ha? Tindihan mo? Ano ba tao? Kailangan mo na sila sa 20? Ha? Bernice, isko na. Nandun ang bola sa taas. Bakit ako ba ito? Kasi baka man nakatingin. Para siguro sabi ni Coach Shaq, kanina lang 8 points yung lamang oh. namin. Ah. Now, dalawa na lang and service pa rin ng Ateneo. Acevedo actually doing the damage. The veteran Acevedo taking off the cudgels here in the first set. Showing uh, her teammates how it should be done. She's just really picking the spots. Exactly, where to exactly. Put the ball. And it's a, it's a great uh, team effort, actually, because Ferrer, knowing when to give it to Acevedo. Again, the USC needs to, uh, needs to get a point back. Isa Maiso is the lady to go to. Yeah, definitely the go-to player of UST. And you mentioned this over and over in our coverages, Ian, but when you don't block, like you said, yes. there's so many things that uh, will go wrong besides the ball, uh, besides the attack not being challenged. Yes. The defense is also affected. The pattern the behind pattern. Uh, the teammates, uh, your, the positions of your teammates, not kakagulo rin yan. Caballero going up. She's blocked. Ferrer saving the ball as a veto to Feiglet. Oh, sorry, we to stop there. Whoa! Caballero. The player has to do a better job. Oh, they go back to Acevedo. Acevedo is bringing the ball over. Buhay pa. Wow. What a rally. Wow. And the crowd enjoying the exchanges that we're seeing here between these two teams. This time, let's listen to Ateneo. They call the timeout. They're trailing by four again.